In this video, you are going to see how I created a blackjack game with Python. We will divide into sections and explain how my mind was thinking throughout the development of this program, so by the end of this video, you will understand how you can start developing your own game with Python today. Let's start. Hey everyone and welcome to my blackjack video where we are going to create a blackjack game with Python from scratch. As you will start watching me developing this game in the background, I will discover you how I planned each step of this project before I put my hands on the keyboard. So when you create a project like this, you want to divide this into front-end and back-end. The front-end is what the user sees when he uses the program and the back-end is the logic behind the scenes. So I decided to give a little push with the front-end first. So I thought that drawing a basic sketch of how my window is going to look like is going to make my life more easier. So I really recommend you to do that before you creating your front-end. And one of the files I created called design.py, this was the best option because what this file is going to do is memorizing data to display a casino look like blackjack table. As you saw in the beginning of this video, we had a really nice looking window with a bold green background. After I finished working with the design file and drawing a nice sketch, now I started to create frames and labels. So this is a future when you work with a module called Tkinter in Python. So on labels we can display text and images. And why I need to display images? Because we want to show cards. This is what blackjack is about, alright? So it's a cards game and it is really important to display cards on our table. And by the way, I really recommend you to start learning the Tkinter module in Python. This is a really amazing framework to start creating graphical user interfaces like this one. Right after we finished creating the labels and the frames, I thought that I have to make myself ready to write the code of behind the scenes and what happens when a player clicks hit or stand. So I started to creating buttons first and give them a nice color. And after that I knew it is a great time to jump off to the backend and starting to create classes to handle the events in the blackjack game. So, the important buttons are Deal, Hit and Stand, and those three buttons are going to be an important factor of this project. Deal is going to deal a new hand, and Hit is going to deal one more card, and Stand is going to pass the turn to the dealer. And for this project, I thought to not code the logic behind the double or split buttons, because they are relevant on situation when you actually gamble on money or coins. The main sequences on this project is going to be with cards, so it is obvious that you have to create a new file and give him a name like card, and start working on how to deal two cards to player and the dealer and doing this with a nice organized class could be a great idea. So then I thought, okay, what are the properties of a card that could be in real life? So we have the shapes like hearts, spades and clubs and diamonds and we also have value from 1 to 11 for each card and we have the jack, queen, king that their value are 10. So I put all of those properties in my class and then I created functions that could help me to follow the rules of blackjack. Functions like to make sure that you can't get the same card twice or questions that is going to answer me if it is illegible to display the card because when you play against the dealer only one card is shown to the player at the real beginning so it is really important to pay attention to that. By the way, here's the point you might give up if you are creating a project like this. If you give up on comments, you can put yourself into a situation where you are stuck with something that you don't understand. So in my opinion, it is better to waste 2 minutes to comment each function rather than wasting 45 minutes to understand what the hell you just did there. After writing pretty much what I needed from the card class, I put up on the table 4 hidden cards that you don't see their value. And this is the time that I want to configure what the deal button is going to do once I click to it. So each time we click deal, 
we have to create a new deck. So I decided to put every required operation once the deal button is clicked into a function called deal underscore init. And there I'm going to create 52 instances of card class with for loop because there are 52 cards in every deck if you don't include the joker cards. Now I started working on another new class that sits on a file called deal. In the class deal there are functions of operations that must occur in the middle of the game. Think about the hit. If the player hits, we have to create a new card, we have to display its image, we have to know its value, we have to add its value to the player current value and so on. Once I got things working like a real blackjack game, I started to translate the rules of the game into Python code. For example, after each hit, I check if the player is rich 21, because as we know in blackjack, if your card's total value reaches 21, you lose the hand. So I started to change things like this, and then I started thinking about the next thing that must happen. And the next thing that must happen is passing the turn to the dealer. So the dealer is eligible to play when I'm busted or when I click the stand button. So I started writing rules to check if the player clicked hit or stand. And if he clicked hit, I also checked if the score was higher than 21. So you see, you have to think about every little piece of situation when you code. Because when I busted, for example, I can show a message like busted and expect <laughs> the magic of finishing the game to happen. So for example, I forgot that I left the buttons enabled if the player is busted. So you see, it is a kind of bug. Because if I'm busted, I'm no more supposed to be eligible to click the hit or stand button. So what I did right away is writing a function that disables all buttons such as hit, stand, double or the split. And finally, we can write now some code to make the dealer to play automatically. So the dealer's brain, so called, is going to be written in a file called dealer. Because this way, I have really organized code and I know the main goal of each file. So what I did is creating a new class that is going to be updated for the dealer score after each hit. And wrote a basic rule like this. If the dealer score is 17 or more, so don't hit anymore, and if it's under 17, then hit one more time. Well, it's great that we know always the player and the dealer's total score, but we did not show a message about who wins the hand. So here's a final function called decider. We have to make some if statements here to decide who wins the game. And of course I'm going to check stuff like if both player and the dealer is busted or if only the player is busted and if only the dealer is busted and if no one is busted then just take the higher score among the two and show him that he is the winner of this hand. After finishing the logic behind the black checking I really had a hard time to decide between this style of card to the one you saw in the beginning of this video. So let me know in the comments below which one you liked more. Don't forget to crack the subscribe button and like this video and comment below any question you have. So let's play some blackjack!